Well, I am in Casper, Wyoming. Now, I've been to Wyoming many times. However, I've never been here to Casper. So I'm really interested in seeing what it's about, what it looks like. I'm gonna begin the video just driving around the city a little bit as I tell you about it. Now I'm entering downtown. I'll drive through it a little bit, but at first glance, it's, uh, it's just okay. It's not near as nice as Cheyenne's. Definitely doesn't have the charm. Now Casper is not a large city, 59,000 people. It's the second largest in the state after Cheyenne, which has 65,000 people. I believe this is the least populated state in the country, so it makes sense that the two largest cities are actually pretty small. Anyway, we got here yesterday, right after a storm hit, and it's already really cool. You would never know it's almost June here because it's in the 40s. Also driving in, we experienced some of the strongest winds I've ever been in outside of a tornado. So when I got to the hotel, I looked up what the wind is like here, and yes, it is bad. Among the windiest places in the United States, in fact, the local highway patrol at times will tell you if you have a high profile vehicle or a light vehicle, stay off the road because it will get tipped over. Now on about the weather, it gets very cold here. In the winter months, the temperature will hover below zero and 20 to 30 below zero is not uncommon. So uh, if you don't like winter, this is not the place to be. This is a city of people who love the outdoors. Skiing, hiking, bike riding, fishing, snowmobiling. That's what's done here. That's what people do for recreation. And uh, if you enjoy that, this is a good place to be. Now this neighborhood looks pretty nice. Looks like uh, middle, upper middle class even. Nicely developed. There's not much of a nightlife here. It's a really laid back city. But that being said, the pros of the city are this. It's got a low cost of living, low taxes, housing is affordable, and it's low crime. The uh, crime rate in Casper is around 201 per 100,000. The USA average is 369 per 100,000. So that is low. Casper has a very low crime rate. It's a safe city. Yeah, this is a really nice neighborhood. All right, anyway, I'm gonna go across the city, check out the other side, see what it looks like over there. In the middle of the city right now, it's pretty nice here still. The houses in this uh, part of town are a lot smaller. I'm clearly in a more economically disadvantaged area of the city. I'll just go here for a few more seconds. All right then, well that's enough of this for now. I'm gonna grab the wife and uh, we're gonna go see some more of the city. All right, we are going to the National Historic Trails Interpretive Center. This place is supposed to be pretty awesome. What do you think? Uh, I don't know, I haven't been inside yet. Yeah, it's supposed to be world class. So, uh, cool statue there, huh? Yeah. So we're gonna go in and check it out for herself. All right, we are outside the museum now. Wife is still in the Bronco. She's gonna make a run for the front door because it's cold. It's 43 degrees and windy. You can probably hear that wind. Uh, yeah, here's, uh, if you see on my phone, Monday the 30th, May, almost June. For Pete's sakes. <laughs> we really didn't even bring uh, warm clothing because who in the hell thinks it's going to be cold at the end of Ju uh, end of May? Well, it's cold in Casper. That all being said, it's kind of a beautiful view from here. It'd be more beautiful if it wasn't so overcast. But uh, yeah, you can see the entire city of Casper laid out here. 
Let me zoom in a little. Yeah, that uh, white tower there, that's downtown. And you can see the rest of the city. And there's a mountain on the other side, but you can't see it because of the clouds. Anyway, it's beautiful. My wife has finally arrived. All right. Well, we are going to head in now. Already seen some really neat things here in the museum, which is primarily about life on the trails in Wild West, United States. Yeah, this is awesome. They do an interactive show once or twice an hour. So we're settling in to watch that now. It's looking cool already. For many immigrants, the arrival at Independence Rock was reason for celebration. They knew that by arriving there prior to Independence Day, they would most likely miss the early snows of winter on the mountain passes to the west. Reached Rock Independence. All right, the film just finished. It was fascinating what we learned, huh? That, uh, well, we learned that I want to go see Independence Rock. <laughs> just yeah, think Independence Rock. Cool to kind of see that. But what we did learn is that people on their way to Oregon and Utah and California would stop here in Casper. It was Fort Casper then. Oh, but, yes. but this was the last place they stopped, the last really town, anything. before they headed to their final destinations. And that's why Casper is here today. It's fascinating. That's great history. Cool, they have an Indian teepee here that you can go inside. Huh? That's pretty nifty. I don't know if the I don't know if the Indians had any lights though. Do you? Of they got electricity. You didn't know that. All the trying to bring that up. He couldn't do it. This is a sketch drawn in 1860 by a soldier who was fighting the Indians in a battle for Red Butte. That's something. You can see the arrows. <laughs> wow. This is a covered wagon here in the museum. It's a ride also. You get in and it takes you across a river. So we are getting ready to do that now. All right, the wife and I are gonna ride the wagon across the river. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. The, uh, we're getting ready to cross this river in this wagon. <laughs> it's shaking. It's shaking like crazy. Huh? <laughs> this is pretty cool. Really cool. Just sit still. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost across. Ruin the best hat. Damn river. Oh. Dang. I think we made it though. Cool. This taking this terrible toll has finally eased. We will leave all our clothing and cooking utensils, except what is absolutely necessary. Let us push on. <laughs> yeah. This is cool, I'm riding on a wagon. In the old uh, west. We got some trouble up ahead. Not sure what it is. Oh, I wonder what happened to them. It's all a commotion. Oh, I hope they're all right. It looks like y'all folks got some trouble. Just busted the wheel. I think we've about got it fixed now, though. It takes a long time to fix it, again. You riders, anything on the trail? <laughs> Seen the Indians. Looks like a hunting party, though. They had loaded pack animals. You hear that, folks? There's Indians about. Let's get this wheel fixed and get these wagons back on the trail. You'll find troops at some of the stations, but we've encountered no problems with the natives. We wish you Godspeed. Yeah, this is cool. 
Driver, can we continue on? Well, there's the wife. Well, we're done with the museum. It was pretty great. I have a whole different view of Casper after uh, being to this museum. We're back to the truck and the weather still sucks. <laughs> Rainy and cold. Ugh. All right, we're in the car now. We're gonna go downtown and do a little shopping. This weather is terrible though, I, I don't. It's too cold. I don't do outside in this weather and rainy Ooh, to boot. We're here tomorrow too, and guess what? The weather's exactly the same. Boo, Casper. Boo, low, Casper. low 40s, rain, windy. I, I, I took it upon myself to look at some of the uh, temperatures of other cities that are up north. Uh, Minneapolis is 86 today. <laughs> Chicago is 85 today. Portland, Maine is 78. Burlington, Vermont okay. is 84. But you're pointing out we get lucky. We get lucky a lot of times with the weather too, honey. So you're well, pointing we're not out lucky here. Very but my point is Shocking all these. Shocking that it's like it's like what the 30th of May or yeah. Yeah, 30th it's of May. almost June. But my point is, it's low 40s. 41 degrees right now. Rainy and windy too. In uh, Casper, Wyoming. Oh, I really do not care for that. So uh, no shopping in downtown today. Ew. We're just going to go and get something to eat. So I'll, uh, we're going to go there now. All right, we are in downtown Casper. We're going to go eat at the Branding Iron, which is right there. Supposedly very good, so we're gonna go have hopefully some good food on this crappy Wyoming day. All right, here we go. Here it is, the branding iron. Inside we go. Well, our appetizer is here, cowboy bites. You gonna try a bite of it? I know it's got Does corn it and like <laughs> it's got corn and jalapeno in it. Corn, jalapeno. Is it good? Yeah, good. awesome. I'm having a local stout, and she's having wine. It's good. It is. Let me try one. Whoa, it's falling apart. Yeah, it's very soft. Hey, let me get it. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah. All right, we have switched to Jack Daniels. And I ordered a Yellowstone burger, which is uh, that's a bison burger with uh, Cajun aioli that's what that was. and uh, curly fries with gravy. Curly fries. And it's a uh, it's going to be awesome. Made with locally made bison here in Wyoming, so it'll be yummy. And you ordered a steak, but it hasn't come yet. No. You're going to have it to go anyway. She's having her steak to go. It's too early. Yeah. All right, it's pretty yummy. You sure you don't want to try a bite? No, I'm good. I'll wait for my steak. And my she wants her steak. Oh, so normal. You gotta have something from Wyoming. All right, well, we had a good dinner. Yeah, Heading back to the hotel. Yeah, I key from here and unlock it. If I want to get there okay. faster than you, I can. Anyway, yeah, we're heading back to the car. Want to take a quick trip over here. This is the town of Bar Nun, Wyoming. <laughs> Great name. It is a suburb of Casper. And uh, what's interesting about this town is, it is that it was constructed on a airport runway. And in fact, I am driving on that former runway right now. Now this used to be the original airport for Casper. And they decided to build a new one. And uh, of course this runway was abandoned. But a uh, resourceful developer came along and started building houses along the street. I mean, you've already got a big long road built here. Why not? And it has uh, grown quite a bit. Uh, from basically nothing, I want to say in 1980, to uh, about 3,000 people now. And this was actually one of the fastest growing towns in Wyoming the past few years. So, yeah, here it is. 
Bar Nun, Wyoming, the town built on an airport runway. This is one of the secondary runways. It's not quite as developed. It's one of the interesting things about Casper. You see it quite a bit. You'll see houses built and then uh, it just ends and nothing but miles of prairie. So you can see that. That's Wyoming in a nutshell. So I'm near downtown. That's it right there. Had to stop at this uh, place. It's called David Street Station. It is the pride and joy of Casper. It is a gathering place, whether it be concerts, ice skating, just about anything the city wants to put together to draw in uh, residents, a hangout, if you will, for the city. And uh, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty quiet right now, obviously, early in the day. See the fountains there. But I uh, felt like that if you're going to see what Casper has to offer, I had to show you guys this. It's not a huge area, but then again, Casper's not a huge city, but it is really nice. It's a nice place to have all, uh, different events. It's got a stage right there. Pretty small, intimate, if you will, but it would be a pretty cool place to see a show. You can see that famous Casper wind blowing the flags. <laughs> yeah, it's a really neat place. I'm on a bike trail, hiking trail. It's windy, you could probably hear it. But it's really beautiful here. Feels desolate, doesn't it? Even though I'm about five minutes away by foot to being in the city. <laughs> Little spot here though. It's like being back in 1850, you know? Looking to that river with your covered wagon and thinking, how am I gonna cr uh, cross that? It's, it's beautiful, really beautiful. Yeah, there's uh, downtown Casper right there. Uh, and in the mountains on the other side, I'll zoom in a little. Yeah, it's really beautiful. You know guys, when I first got here to Casper, I thought the city was drab. The downtown's unremarkable. Uh, the streets and the neighborhoods are okay, but there are some that are pretty rough, some that are really nice. The city's looked average at best. Went to the museum, found out about the great history the city has. Then I got in the car and started driving just outside of the city to see this. This is where Casper shines. It is so beautiful here. And uh, it's close enough for you to ride your bike out here. But it is gorgeous. So uh, I'm just going to drive a little bit here and show you the scenery. Well, so there's that. That's the end of this video. In the morning, we are going to Billings, Montana, so uh, be looking for that.